Hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn about the per fragment operation. Uh, we will also learn how to setting the graphics pipeline of OpenGL ES 2.0 or WebGL 1.0. So we will learn the concept of frame buffers and we will learn calling, depth testing, and stencil testing, and scissoring that kind of tools to to control the, the rendering result. It is very essential part of graphics, the pipeline, and also it is very important to control the quality of uh, rendering. Okay, so I will uh, have uh, some kind of uh, the pro programming practice with the the with uh, the source code is located in in my git uh, git folder so you can download it from the frag operation in webgl tutorial folder then hello start.js file is the original current status of a uh, file and then i will change the hello.js file and then the final version of uh, hello.js file will be stored in after this lecture Okay. Okay, let's review the, the graphics pipeline again. Okay. With the API, we send some vertex data to vertex pop object to in inside the GPU. Okay. So and then the we send some matrix. The matrix is the, the model matrix and projection matrix and and a viewing matrix. Three matrix is sent to vertex shade with uniform. And then the the three matrix is the used for calculation of vertex position and then and then primitive assembly. In primitive assembly it is so several process it is the it is projected into screen coordinated and then rasterization and the all primitive is rendered with triangle or line or point. And then the the last region result is going to fragment shader. And then fragment shader decide the the color of each pixels. And then there is a, some kind of operation. Its name is per fragment operation. Per fragment operations control the, the, the final result of rendering and then it is stored in the frame buffer. The frame buffer is slightly changed. There is some kind of lead back path. It means that it is possible to read the frame buffer from API. It means that frame buffer is kind of memory. So this memory can be read by API, CPU. So it means that we can send well, we can copy the content of uh, frame buffer to main memory, CPU memory. Okay, so 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 when we are using the the frame buffer content in CPU, the all pipeline must be stopped. So it so therefore it is very it, it carefully to use the the the, the, the frame buffer reading is carefully used for for uh, the, the performance is severely dropped at the, when you are you when you are reading the frame buffer from CPU and also the frame buffer is sometimes is used for as an input of pop frame operation okay so we need to understand it so pop frame operation sometimes sometimes Fragment operations use a frame buffer result. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I will. I will review the, the, the primitive assembly. The, the, in triangles, we can define with triangles with the triangles and triangle strip and the triangle fan. So, with the the five vertex, we can draw to two triangles with triangles option. When when you are using uh, GL triangle strip, then we can uh, draw like this. The result will be like this, and then we'll draw. We can draw 
the triangle fan, the fan shaped the, the uh, triangles, then you can uh, get this kind of result. If we have different color in each vertex, then the, we can get the different uh, vertex color triangle. But in case of a triangle strip and triangle fan, is not uh, we cannot freely define the, the vertex color of each uh, triangle. Okay, and lines, lines, line strip and line loop. Line loop is the end point and uh, the and start point is connected. And then you can set a line width, but in WebGL 1.0, the line width bigger than 1.0 is not, may not support it, or may, may support it, or, or may not support it. It depends on the implementation. Okay, but I think Scrum does not support it. So, line width, don't, do not use line width function. Okay, and then point to sprite. In, in in case of a pointers, we can set the point coordinate, a point uh, with the different size, and sometimes we can use a gel point coordinate with with the text coordinate. So it is very useful to for drawing some kind of a the texture point, the image point to with a point sprite. So okay, I will. I will, I will explain it later in texture, okay? Geo primitive, so how can you draw it? So we can draw with draw arrays, then the, we can se select some kind of a vertex attributes from here to to number of, number of vertexes, then the one to three, then three uh, vertexes used for drawing with mode, so some mode can be the lines, line strip, loop, line loop, triangle, triangle strip, triangle fan. So, so if if it is triangles, then the one triangle will be displayed. Okay, and we can also draw the element, and then the element is in here, so it it, it can be some the data type can be the, the unsigned. Right or inside the short, it has uh, some kind of index of vertex. Okay, so with with but this vertex and with this vertex and with this this vertex order, then we can. I want to draw a triangle with this uh, the index of triangle vertex. Then we can draw a triangle. Okay, so sometimes it is very memory efficient, but sometimes it is very confusing or and it is not possible to control the it, control the, the, the each triangle has different vertex color or vertex or other vertex attributes then it is not possible to have different color vertex in this implementation so i recommend the, the draw arrays it is because some nowadays uh, the most recent uh, the the the, the Vertex buffer object is quite huge, so we don't we don't have to worry about that memory. Okay, so and then in case of a, in primitive assembly stage, so we we uh, we we at the we put that the the the, uh, the coordinate of vertex into vertex shader, and then vertex shader change into to to. to to screen uh, normalize coordinate, and then there is three step of processing the clip coordinate, and then then it changes the normal normalized uh, device coordinate. To, to, it, we say it is a perspective division. It, it is the div divide with the W and a viewport transformation. Then it it final result is the the X Y. Is a window coordinate and jet is the jet jet value the depth value. Okay, clipping is if we set the viewing custom, then if the point or line is outside of this or triangle is outside of this custom, then we do not have to draw at all. So if if triangle or primitive primitives is outside of a 
viewing first term, viewing volume, then we discard it. So next process is does not does not process at all. If it is inside, of course we we should draw it. So we we should process it. And if the triangle is partially in, in inside of the triangle, then we need to change the shape of triangle like this. So, so then the, the partial triangle can be processed. Or, so full triangle will be processed, but it, it partially drawn. In, because the triangle is partially added to, to drawn in this the viewing transform, then, then the the partial some part of the triangle can be drawn can be drawn. Okay, so perspective division. So we use the homogeneous coordinate. It means it, x there is a four coordinate x, y, z, and w. So after the uh, after pers uh, perspective transformation, it means that. It is processed with in in vertex shader after the calculation of x, y, z, and w coordinate. Then w coordinate can be various can be bad, have value. So it should be changed into one point zero. So the all component of a uh, coordinate should be divided into w. Okay, then it will be changed into one point zero, and then automatically so x y z value value it will be changed so and then it should be changed into viewport transformation in viewport the we can you remember that we set the, the screen coordinate okay so with zero comma normally zero comma zero and canvas with this canvas with this and canvas canvas height so it is you need to pixel so we create the, pic, the canvas in HTML file with the 800 pixel by 600. So the 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 x y will be 0 comma 0 in here, and then width and height will be 800 600. Then it is changed into the the, the x y will be changed into the scaled width inside of this viewport. So x, y will be in between 0 to 800 and y will be 0 to 600, okay? So, and then in case of z value, the, it, is the, it is the scaled into depth range. The product value is near and float. So we, we set the viewing volume. So viewing first, we bring first term, it, it is near plane the clip plane it is that is park clip plane then the normally the near will be changed into 0, 0.0 and then the park plane will be 1.0 and then it is changed into we can set to set uh, the, the depth range for example we can change it into 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 we can set the, the uh, depth range with 0 0.5 to 0 0.6, then it will be scaled into 0 0.5 to 0 0.6. Okay, I will explain later in, in when I explaining uh, the depth testing, okay? And then rasterization point will be ch changed into point, uh, point parameter, and then line segment will be uh, changed into line pixels, okay? Like this. And then triangle will be changed into the fragment of triangle, the collection of pixels. Okay, it is it is uh, look uh, it it is already changed into screen coordinate. The the pixel position will be changed into scale screen coordinate. Okay, and then it send to it will send it to fragment shader. Okay, we are here came here. Program shader. In program shader, we can we can uh, we can program the program shader. Then the, the program shader will control the, the color of each pixels. Okay, with texture, image, 
and with uh, various kind of uh, the computation we, we can calculate the, the, the light source or light direction or color or that kind of the, the, the controlling color is done by the shader program uh, but some the, some fixed operation is required in 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 uh, graphics pipeline we call it power fragment operation some some operations can be can be uh, located in other area but it is possible I mean I mean we say that so after pregnant shade of processing that we need to do per pregnant operation but some operation may be located in before pregnant shader or something but we we totally say that so there are so many operations in per pregnant operations but the implementation can be different in in vendor by vendor okay so it is possible to change change the, the, the implementation location but so normally in generally so we we located the performance pop operation in here and then after performance operation the frame buffer the, the result will be stored in frame buffer sometimes the content of frame buffer will be used for input of performing the operation okay in OpenGL ES 2.0 standard they uh, define a uh, six component of uh, the four pregnant operation the first step is pixel ownership test second thing is a scissoring test and third stencil depth blending and tethering so first thing the pixel ownership test is uh, the checking the the pixel is owned by the owned by uh the, the this uh, fragment data can be on this pixel sometimes it is very strange that so we already tested tested the clipping so it is surely it is inside of the window surely it is inside of window but how can he uh, the this pixel can be owned by other application so sometimes the most general case is like this i send some some other application window can operate in this area then if even though it is it, it the, the it is inside of the inside of window the the, the webgl application canvas but sometimes in the the pixel should should not display the on the top of uh, this application okay so, so it, it is most common case of of requirement of pixel ownership test but think about it the, the checking the which window is the above the webgl application or down the application that is the work of operating system not the work of not the job of OpenGL or WebGL application. So, so the pixel ownership test, pixel ownership test is we don't have have we don't have any settings or changing some parameters or something. That kind of thing it does not exist. So normally it is done by automatically by operating system and web browser. So we don't have to. Uh, we, we don't have to change some parameters or we don't have to change something that kind of thing does not exist okay next thing is a scissoring test a scissoring test is we define some scissoring rectangle then only inside of this scissoring rectangle will be displayed so we can control the drawing area the partial area and then stencil test is we define we can we can draw something on stencil buffer so we need buffer so stencil buffer we draw something for example we can i can draw something then inside or outside of uh, drawn area for example if the this last pixel is 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 
and then black pixel is 0, 0.0, then we can we can set that so it's only the, the in in case of zero comma zero pixels we can draw it then the next drawing will be will be drawn with in here but the red color will be remaining okay so that is the controlling the, the drawing area with pixel by pixel is stencil test Depth test is there is also they need another buffer. We need depth buffer is required to to testing depth testing. So depth depth buffer is sometimes we call it is jet buffer jet buffer G, some Z buffer. Then it, it is used for drawing something. Uh, the testing with those which one is in front of something for example the triangle is in front of the circle then we need we need to draw like this so so to checking which one is near the camera which that is depth test we need depth buffer then the the almost the final stage is uh, the the blending in okay so when we are when we when we calling draw some some command draw element or draw arrays or some, something when you're drawing command is learn the the pipeline will execute it okay when we are draw draw command i draw element then they will learn this pipeline and then they draw it in frame buffer. And then we draw, we draw, we order the drawing API called, then, then that, that will learn again. And then we will draw something else, something else with, with other data in frame buffer, the buffer object, then draw something. So it will be repeatedly. The, the 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 pipeline will be executed. Then, then there will be some kind of object in already in frame buffer. Some drawing is already exist. Of course, we can okay uh, we can set at, with the G buffer. We can draw something on here and on here. Then we can on, on change the order of the drawing some with the depth buffer or something. Sometimes we need to. We need to not by depth. We need to mix it, and in current drawing result, how how can we need to decide how can the mix the drawing result with the current frame buffer? How how can you mix it? Okay, mix it. That is the we call it a branding. Okay, so branding. Sometimes, if this new triangle, red, new red triangle is has transparency, then we need to draw in through like this. Okay, so half transparent and half opaque. Then we need to draw like this. So, some transparency, some order of drawing, or some kind of. A, if 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 I want to, I want to add zero point five of. 50% uh, of the triangle and the existing result will be 50-50 mixed. I want this mix, mixing. Then that kind of mixing is possible with blending. Okay, blending is in here. Okay, dithering is very special operation that is if, if the color space colors is very limited, then we can we can do dithering. But I cannot find any hardware or software web browser to supporting tethering in WebGL 1.0. So don't worry about that. And I will explain the, what is tethering, but so I think it is not possible to uh, use tethering in your web browser. Okay. And then the result will be the will be stored. Stored means that the frame buffer will be updated. Okay updated with with the, the drawing result okay 
update. If we want to control the, the fragment operation, we can use enable API or disable API. If you want to check the is it enabled or not, then it, there is is enabled API. So we can use the, the as token, a depth test, a stencil test, seizure test, blend, did. So we can enable or disable that function. So there is a, the, another function call pace and sample something. So these two operation is not appears in performance operation, okay? But in 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 calling pace or call face and sampling sampling is multi sampling so, so i will explain it later in in anti aliasing so call face is kind very similar to depth testing or something it, it it is very similar to but sometimes it it is possible to implement in early stage of pipeline before fragment shader so we we will not say it is the fragment operation, but so we need to know the, the same as the the fragment operation. So we will learn it how to control it, and we need to know that some some features should be provided from canvas. For example, for example, if we the the web browser does not support depth test then we cannot implement or we cannot control the depth test, of course. When we create a WebGL, if, if we turn off the depth test, cannot use depth. For example, uh, in our the, the, in the code, there is a the initialize GL function in first stage of uh, execution, initialize GL function, there is a the, so canvas get context function with WebGL. So in that case, we can control that. For example, uh, there are so many options, but I can set like uh, stencil is false with a kind of JSON format. So I can set attribute of canvas get function with attribute then for example i i will set depths depths is false then we can test depths depths testing so default value is true of course if i change it into false then the canvas does not have depths buffer so it is not possible to to use depths testing Okay, so if you if you want to know more about us uh, about uh, some uh, get context uh, function, so googling get uh, get uh, context function in JavaScript function, so you can get some various function like uh, like this. For example, alpha desynchronized anti-aliased and depths the Power performance, pre multiplied alpha, pre job drawing, stencil, that kind of thing is we can control it. Okay, then let's learn the buffers. I said that the buffers is used for input or output. Okay, so there are three kinds of buffers in WebGL. The one is color buffer, and the second thing is depth buffer, third thing is stencil buffer. In color buffer, normally there is a front and back color buffers. Okay, uh, in in WebGL and OpenGL, yes, we we cons we use two color buffers. Okay, two color buffers. One is front buffers, and second thing is back buffers. Okay, when you are drawing something, the the back buffer is used for drawing drawing. Okay, so we can update or or changing that thing is happened in here okay and then but 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 the front buffer is displayed on on the display output device displaying this front device okay so and then after drawing is finished then we call that update canvas then 
For example, in PostScript, we, sh we draw something and then we execute the, the show page like that. So we, we, the, we uh, execute some command with changing buffer. So then the, the automatically, automatically it is changed to hit it and it changed into back buffer, it changed into front buffer, this link is con connected, disconnected, and then drawing is done to here, okay? So, so we call it, it, it is swap buffers, okay? Swap buffers, okay? So, 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 so we assume that in WebGL and the swap buffer is automatically occurred in in when you're drawing so but in case of using the OpenGL ES 2.0 we should call swap purpose function explicitly that function is not exist exist in OpenGL ES 2.0 it is exist on EGL it is another standard EGL swap purpose is called then purpose is changed okay so the in WebGL we can consider it is automatically learned by the web browser. Okay. And depth buffer is for using depth testing. Stance buffer is used for stance test. Before using these buffers, we need to create. How to create is with clear function. We set the clear clear bit field with color buffer and depth buffer and stencil buffer then if you want it to all together then we can we can use the with or operator okay so color buffer bit or depth buffer bit or stencil buffer bit then we can learn clear the all three buffers okay so we can select it with this. i want to just the, the only i want one only only clear the stencil buffer only then clear stencil buffer then stencil buffer only stencil buffer will be cleared and then we set the, the value of clear so we set if we set clear color with rgba then all all color buffer with with will be filled with this rgb value and then if you set the clear depth with the the protein um, the depth value then it will be automatically cleared so default value is 1.0 okay 1.0 means that the, it is real is in in park clipping so the, it will be 1.0 then the we will set it we do it clear with 1.0 then it will be cleared with 1.0 then of course we can set with a different different value okay so and then we can clear with stencil value with a stencil value so stencil value is integer value be careful so we before that we need to know that so how much the bit depth of a stencil buffer and then we set it into if we want to change it into max value then we, we need to know the stencil buffer size for example, if, if size is 8-bit, then we can set it, for example, in, I want to set it max value, then I will set it in 255. But but it is smallest value is, it is very easy, so we can set it in zero. But so in case of the big big value, if it is a standard uh, buffer is a 16-bit bit depth, then we, can, we should set 255 multiplied 255. Okay, 200 multiply 206 minus 1. So, okay, 232 minus 1. So, we need to know the, the, know the, the bit depth of the stencil buffer. Okay, then, okay, we can control that. So, with the writing masks. So, I want to change it the color. When I draw something, we draw command. Then I, I will let draw change the color. Then I'll, 
I can say that the red, green, blue pulse, then alpha also pulse, then color buffer is not changed. Sometimes it is very, very useful for, for drawing something. In, for example, I want to draw something in stencil buffer, so then I can turn off all depth mask and color mask, and then we I to turn on a stencil mask, then I can draw only I can update only extension buffer only, so it is very useful. In case of extension mask, we can we, in depth mask and color mask we, we can just to turn on and turn off. But uh, in stencil, so we can set the the bit. So for example, if we have eight bit of stencil. Then we can turn on this bit and turn on this bit and turn on this bit like this. So, for example, we can set that stencil mask separately, then share from the 0B11011. Then it, we can turn on fourth and third and fifth and sixth bit will be written to to next drawing. So. Default value of uh, the mask value is all one. For example, in 32 bit, then all 32 one will be existing in this default value. Okay, first uh, the the popular multi operation is uh, scissoring. Scissoring is the we 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 set some rectangle with the scissor API with the start point and width and height. Start point x y and then, then with same height, then only only the b inside of this C direct is enabled. Uh, it, it can be drawn. For example, I if I draw the triangle, then then only this part will be drawn like this. Okay, I will show you with uh, the code. Okay, I showed the code. Okay. I change the example code with this part. So I wrote the identity matrix and I rotate it with the rotation angle. It is very same as uh, the, the previous uh, the tutorial. And then, and then I draw it and then load identity again and then the more quickly, four times faster rotation and translate. So it is it is very two cube is rotating differently and you change the position. So I'll show you some result. Okay. Okay. Don't toggle animation. Then we can see that thing. Okay. So it is very so we need to check the, the depth testing and stencil testing. So I changed it to this code. That is the hello that hello on the start code. Okay, so I will change the hello the hello code. Then okay in in render scene I will I will try to use scissoring. Okay. So okay there is a GL that enable GL seizure test. Okay. Then we, before that we need to the set seizure is let's go to some somewhat center then I will set it three hundred fifty and what is middle is a 250 then 100 and 100 a pixel okay so then let's see the result okay then there is a result okay let's animate it oh it looks like the same result but there's a small area only small area is displayed okay so we can control that some part to draw. Uh, think about it. If we set this thing, then the background was background was black, but background clear does not work in outside of scissoring. Okay, 
so we need to be careful to enable it and disable it so i want to use black background and then i want to clip it then this thing should be in a different area so so in in first stage we need to gel disable okay in here we need to disable in here and then we create and then we need to enable it to draw something we need okay we need to do it okay then we can get some similar result originally it, it disable does not in in here but if we turn on then the first first plane will be drawn with without the default disabled status but in very next time they enabled it the enable state will be maintained so the background will, will not uh, will not uh, uh, dis displayed as black because of our uh, scissoring enabled status is continued okay we we learned about uh, the scissoring then the other pre-month operation will be learned in next class okay see you next time bye